Welcome to Board Gems. In this video, I will compare the 2009 and 2023 editions of the same game. Pollen is the newest version. The previous version was known as Samurai, the card game. Here are the two editions. The edition on the left is from Rio Grande slash Abacus. It is a joint production, and its intention is to present very similarly to the board game Samurai, which at this point was of course still extremely famous. So it's kind of following in the footsteps, trying to evoke a similar feeling, similar imagery. And on the right is the reinvention for 2023 by Allplay, given of course a, a makeover, a completely different setting. The box area, its footprint, is quite similar. Samurai the card game is thicker than Pollen. Pollen is a very standard all-play slash board game tables uh, box format. Samurai the card game is in the exact same box dimensions as Carcassonne, and also some other Rio Grande slash Abacus printings of Reiner Knizia games from this era, including Medici and Raw the Dice game. The all-play slash board game tables standard box size is slightly narrower and slightly thinner. Looking at the back of the box gives you a clue as to how different these two productions are. They both show a game state, and in the case of the original, kind of a wall of text in English and German because it is a co-production, and Pollen just has a these have a bit of flavor text at the bottom and the phases of the game described very generally. Of course, the rule book goes into more detail as to what these phases mean. I didn't take photos of the rule books because I actually don't have the original rule book for Samurai the card game. Looking inside the box, very sort of generic shape of cardboard insert for the original, obviously with the printing slightly customized for the game, but a single deep well to store all the pieces. There is no insert in the all play edition, which is normal for all play. The box is fairly small and it tends to fill up quite well with all the pieces, so an insert is not necessary. Now in Samurai the Card Game, there are two decks of cards. One contains the, the pieces that players are competing for, and the other, broken up into four different colored backs, are the player cards. These are the player cards. The original has standard primary colors for the player colors, and as far as I can tell, no accommodation for color blindness. I am not color blind, but I did not notice a difference between the two square in green and the two square in red. You can see in Pollen the colors are kind of off primary, orange and green and purple and pink. As a non-colorblind person, I think these colors stand out very well. They show the different values on the corners of these uh, uniquely shaped cards. In the original, you're playing these cards against the, the sort of goal cards that you are trying to win over. But the values are not pointing toward the actual card, they're pointing toward the corners, which is not really the same thing. So that's something that Pollen did quite nice, is they're actually pointing the values toward where the goals are. And this is the biggest, by far, difference between the two games, is how those goals are presented. In the original, they're cards, square cards as large as the player cards, and so you end up forming a sort of a checkerboard pattern with one color of the checkerboard, one diagonal, I suppose, being the player cards and the other being the goal cards. In Pollen, they change those to small cardboard tokens. They still show one, two, or three goals, in these case, the insects that you're trying to attract, and they're mostly pretty clear. I find when looking at the two insect pollen tiles, the ones that involve the butterfly, sometimes the other insect, you sometimes have to take a beat to recognize the difference between the two insects, but it's not drastic, only takes a second. And you can see it takes up far less space than the original cards. And it kind of makes the grid a little bit clearer. I did find a little bit when playing Samurai the card game, I didn't have a problem myself, but I have noticed that sometimes people have a hard time visualizing the offset nature of the goal cards and the player cards. It ends up forming a checkerboard pattern, I tried to explain that, but it still is not visually 
necessarily very intuitive to some people I found. Whereas this I find is better because the goals and the player cards look very different. As a result, even though pollen player cards are larger than in Samurai the Card Game, Overall, the game takes up less space, which is good. Samurai the Card Game takes up a lot of space. <laughs> These are the goals you're going for. They're very simple, abstract shapes in the original. Works fine. It's meant to invoke the three different size and shape pieces from the original Samurai board game, but even more abstracted, so they're just simple shapes. It works, though because they're all the same color, they don't stand out from each other as much as perhaps they could. You can see in the new edition they stand out a fair bit from each other. Different shapes as well as different colors. Because the goals are now tokens instead of cards, you don't shuffle up a deck, instead you dump them into a bag. So the game comes with a large custom bag for the game. It takes up much of the space in the box, but there isn't much else in the game, so that's fine. It's a very nice drawstring bag, very good quality. Thanks for watching. Remember, older games like Samurai the Card Game slash Pollen don't stop being good just because there might be some hot new game just around the corner. I mean, Pollen's kind of a hot new game, I guess, but it's a hot new old game. Take care.